Well, hello everybody. It's uh, Richard here from Spanner Works One, and uh, this afternoon I thought um, we'd do a slight uh, change to the normal way I actually present my videos. I'm just going to turn my friends down here. Because, um, I've been very lucky this afternoon in that um, I've been across to my local charity shop, the Hospice of Hope, uh, which is a charity providing support for children in uh, Romania who um, need uh, palliative care. And they do a wonderful, wonderful job. They've been in this particular precinct uh, near near where I live for some, some years now. And I, I always go through their record collection and also look at all the other items in there. And they're like most charity shops, they're becoming very much more business-like. And um, so the way they present their items on the shelves, and that's fantastic. Um, I always get stuck in there for at least an hour. Uh, and I know the manager, Lynn, very well, and uh, her staff, who are, are volunteers, are actually excellent. And when things come through my hands, I pass things on. So anything I can't, I don't particularly like, some of the records that come through, people give me all items, um, I always uh, pass them on to, to Lynn and her team. And this afternoon I thought perhaps uh, I'd just uh, show you some of the records that I picked up this afternoon. Uh, on the, and it's been an absolutely wonderful day here in the U United Kingdom here in Kent. Um, we've had bright sunshine, very cold first thing this morning, uh, about minus five. And I went for an early run, which is my normal practice and uh, wrapped up warm but it was actually wonderful wonderful out there so uh, and uh, but anyway um, I'm actually playing on the uh, record player here with the Philips and the uh, Kenwood amp a a Charlie Christian record now this one oh, you can see there he is Charlie Christian he's not somebody I know but he played with the Benny Goodman sextet and this recording um, is obviously from the 50s, but the pressings are from 78 from the 40s. And it's obviously been well, look, well cherished, this record, because, I mean, you can see, but some rather yellow sellotape, which has gone off round the edges and bits are starting to fall off here. And it jumped off the record rack for me, this one. I thought, I've got to have this, even if I don't know what the songs are. We've got Blues in B, Wily Cats, Till Tom Special, Gone with the What Wind of all... Breakfast Feud and Air Mail Special. That's just side one. And some of the stuff sounds really good. Um, I expect uh, Swingman78 would probably be interested in this one. Uh, probably on his 78, he's probably already got some of these, no Mark. And uh, if he is out there, hi to you, Mark, and uh, enjoying your, your posting still. I know that probably many of us are as well. So that was, that was a good find. That's one of those. Uh, the other one is... Um, is something called Kenton Ken, Kenton in Hi-Fi. Now, I don't know who this guy is, but uh, uh, again, um, Kenton in Hi-Fi looks good to me. Uh, it's a 50s pressing, uh, and probably, yeah, about that. Um, we've got um, Artistry Jumps, Interlude, Intermission Riff, Minor Riff, uh, Collaboration, Painted Rhythm, you name it. So I'm looking forward to seeing that one on the on the player and listening to that. So anyone knows that one, let me know. I'd be interested to hear. And then I've got one by Tommy Yelter. Now Tommy Yelter, Shalom. So this one, and this is in stereo. As we're moving into the stereophonic age here. This one here, anyone any interested in this one? Look, Tommy Yelter and uh, Crazy Shirley. Uh, Babylon Street, St. Peter Street, and this one's signed by the man himself. There he goes, there's his signature. Uh, and it says here, uh, it says here, looks like to Barry, good luck and lots of jazz from uh, Tommy Yelter there. So I'm going to play that one. I never, I say, these are unplayed, so I don't know what they're going to sound like. Um, as long as they don't skip all over the place on the, on the good old Hitachi. Uh, we've got one, uh, Knuckles O'Toole here. This one's Knuckles O'Toole. I don't know who he is, but uh, Honky Tonk Ragtime Piano. So, again, 50s flip back uh, album. I haven't even taken it out of the pack yet. So, uh, Crazy Otto Rag. There'll be some changes made, and so on. So, it was quite good. I, I love the record covers. I mean, I think that's what attracts me sometimes. I just see them. And these are all in hardback. They're really stiff card here. One that's come from a local library, uh, Maidstone County Library, this has come from, because we're in Kent, so this would be quite normal. It's uh, Muggy Spanner and his orchestra, 
that's a, not Spanner Works, but Sp Muggy Spanner, at the Arcadia Ballroom, 1941. So these are obviously recordings onto this. This is actually in a plastic case, so obviously being uh, part of the library. Nice to visit my local library and get them from there as well. So there we go, that's another one. Looks interesting, doesn't it? Uh, Roy Orbison Sings. I think I've actually got this already, but there's old Roy. And... Uh, and he's uh, he's got uh, Jerry Lee Lewis. He's doing Jerry Lee Lewis numbers. I think I've got this actually. So if it is, I should send it back to the charity shop, and they can have it for someone else to play. But it might be a better pressing than the one I've got. So Latin Lula Lee. This one is. Is Peggy Lee? Again, it's inside a plastic, so it's always been looked after. These are in a separate box. I found in there. So uh, paid a quid for that one. Pound British pound for that one. And then, of course, Joseph Valenciano, with the one I, I've already posted a video of his wonderful uh, "And I Love Her," um, you know. So, um, it's, but this is another one of his, wearing the dark shades in this one. Perhaps he always wore dark shades because the other one's a drawing, a pencil type uh, wash drawing on the album cover, and that that also came from the Hospice of Hope too. Uh, then I've got this, I found a 10 inch, amongst all this lot, I found a 10 inch called Faces of Jazz. There we go, Faces of Jazz. And this has got some descriptors with it. Um, I haven't even taken this out of the packet yet. But I'm looking forward to playing that. As you know, I, I don't know some of you might know, I collect 10 inch. 10 inch were the first sort of LPs of on players they had. When, uh... And then a Woody Harmon LP with a rather fetching young lady on the front. There we go. Again, it's been stuck down with sellotape. It's the world record uh, club one, so these are quite popular. And it's Summer Sequence, and we've got here Summer Sequence Part 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's side one taken up. And then Prelude a la Cha-Cha, Love Song Ballad, Original 2, and uh, uh, Bamba Samba. That sounds like probably a... Again, looks quite good. I haven't even taken it out of the packet yet. Um... Then I found a Tom Litho uh, uh, album. I've got one of these on 10 inch, which I play in the workshop sometimes. He's quite funny. And uh, so I'm looking forward to playing that. Again, the plastic sleeves. Somebody's obviously valued these um, as well. So there we go on that one. So, okay. So I need to know what the time is, don't I, guys? Because it must be getting on for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to switch off and then restart again. Probably part two. All right, speak to you soon.